subscribe to Sales Mala Studios and do not forget to click on the bell icon. Hello and welcome to another episode of Leisurely Bate. I like to appeal to all my viewers to stay at home, stay safe and stay positive. My guest today is a young and innovative entrepreneur from Kolkata, Rahul Boshak. Welcome to Leisurely Bate. Kemon acho? Utobe oshongko dhonnobad and uh, definitely I'm doing good because the lockdown gave me the opportunity to sit back at home and play Ludo with families and read a lot of books. So I am taking lockdown as an opportunity for me to you know to excavate something more innovative from deep inside, which I actually not get you know chances. Jokon amra prochondo i okanta the actor tight schedule er modde choli je actor pora actor fix kora. So shekanta the hoy shara din kaj korma pore asha pore. ঘাটে <laughs> আছো <laughs> <laughs> correct I uh, no, born and brought up in a very small town near uh, Balurghat, it's called Gongarampur. I know that you are aware of that. I'm going to go back to the country, our country is called Hili. আমার ছোটবেলাকার স্কুলিং এর ধরুন হাই স্কুল অব দি আই ওয়াজ ইন গঙ্গারামপুর then after high school i started uh, you know studying in polytechnic which is in shiliguri back in shiliguri shiliguri government polytechnic then after that i always have you know that much of interest inside of me like i have to study more mm-hmm. i am not someone mane i don't need job very soon like my father gave me the backup but so that i don't need that job very soon so i uh, invest more time in studying so that then after i joined heritage Uh, Institute of Technology for my uh, B.Tech, then after M.Tech in uh, WBT, then obviously which didn't complete. So um, while doing my M.Tech back uh, in this period of time, like from uh, Polytechnic to you know the M.Tech hub, I started growing inside me a photographer and um, definitely which helped me to understand like what is the Indian art economy and you know that gave me a lot of opportunity to learn more about the greatest artists of our country and also some way I get communicated with them as well so basically what happened like um, if I put it like this way suppose I'm an artist in India if someone is asking me that what do you do and if i you know just respond that i am a documentary photographer people give me a very weird expression like oh documentary photographer but you are a software engineer why don't you pursue your dream in that space so that gave me a little bit of confusion inside of me like should i follow like from childhood we always used to listen like you should follow your heart uh-huh. so at that moment my heart was saying like that you should continue your study further like even i was planning to move on europe for my you know mfa study and i yeah. talked with the father about this as well but right. uh, you know throughout this confusing journey i get the opportunity to visit hong kong Achha. so uh, Uh, when i was at hong kong you know like the you know famous film festival called hong kong film festival it is very right. international you were there so um, when i was there i get to know like uh, many artists from different corners of the world so when they call themselves an artist like you know it felt so strong they just said with very confident okay i am an artist so while in there i started planning like what is the 
problem with you know indian artists like why they don't feel like that much of confident like when they will say that i am an artist see i am a traveler also uh, i travel mostly solo so uh, when i completed like four countries till now uh, when i you know get to know or meet people when i you know told them like i am an uh, engineer people say okay i am a ceo people say acha theek hai but when i say i am an artist they welcome me with their open heart wow. that is the beauty of art you know art is something that you know doesn't have any language doesn't have any you know social you know boundaries or anything it can be readable by the person who can read right so um, while you know i was staying at the hotel like in the marriott at the time so i just come back to home and i started researching on that so uh, sitting there i started making the blueprint of amar canvas that is a platform where i wanted to create all each and every individual artist of this country and entrepreneur they should feel like that they are capable of making their you know own selling so the problem was like that there was artists and there were people who want to buy the art product but there was no any bridge by at the time correct correct so, so you uh, yeah. our canvas is the marketplace that connects correct, the artist correct. The artist with the buyer and, uh, right 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 so uh, I took that decision at that Hong Kong, and I just ran back to Kolkata. And without moving to my home, I came back to. I mean, I just go straight to my friend's home. <laughs> and this is right now my co-founder. I asked him that, "Omi, see, this is what I am planning, and uh, this is what is you know running in my mind. What do you right. think? Should I pursue? Should we pursue rather?" Than, right. And then he said, "Okay, let's do it. Let's forget everything and do it." And the next day, I you know uh, skip all my scholarship and you know forget MTech, and I started doing this. And well, that is how our Sometimes they say, "Na, the best things in life happens out of impulse." When I talk about basic bhavo, so when you do a paralysis and analysis, becomes like you know a very very detrimental factor. But the point is, a impulse kulo ke judi catch korte hoy, thale it take very much courage inside of you. Like, Absolutely. I mean, rather than you are going to lose so many factors, like when you are going to you know take a journey. that you even never imagine like even before 7 days i was on sure like should i go for entrepreneurship journey i mean that that thing was not even in my mind okay. i was supposed to go for like my art mfa but the great part was i have been born and brought up from a big business family right so that helped me that helped right. me to understand like you know from class 8 i am doing business right so definitely that helped me yeah and that talking about my canvas yeah that and confidence talking about, courage those kind of things right to I me mean. You see, in it, but again, it's it's when you do it, you know, from a very clean slate. एक ता approach थे के अक्वारे no उन्नो रोकमेर एक ता process product जार मोंते unknown सर lot many. Uh, obviously, it's not easy. ताचारा तुम्हार जी boys चिलो शेषो में your peers were <laughs> different. I think the biggest uh, competition or the biggest fight is with with and within yourself. Yeah, how do I accept? It is that? very true. It is. It is very true. Even you know, uh, but see, artists always thinks uh, much. You know, uh, you know what can I say? Like small problems in a difficult way. So <laughs> for me, that happened. So even the problem was very little. I started thinking deep. Like I started thinking, overthinking. Like you know, what can I do? Like you know, as you know, like that. You know, starting from a very small, t- small town. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, from a different corner of west bengal and then coming back to kolkata then you don't have any contacts you don't know you know no, nobody rather than your friends then gradually the point what happened is like if you have a very good co-founder like you know a friend who is supporting you and not only like i am also supporting him so in that way we made the balance suppose i am overthinking in some situation and he is calm Yeah. and he said okay chill it will be it will be okay don't take so much pressure and the same things happens with me as well sometimes so this balance ratio is something jeta amake khub help korechi because i am so much lucky that even, even even when we sometimes talk like you know we know each other like for 8 years but yeah i mean we never thought like that we will do uh, companies someday together but yeah it happened so that really helped great great it's uh, very inspiring i mean <laughs> what i wanted to also understand a is uh, what triggered your passion for photography মানে কোন বয়স থেকে কখন কোন অনেক সময় হয় না যে একটা মোমেন্ট ট্রিগারস আ নিউ ট্রাজেক্টরি অফ থিংকিং আর সেখান থেকে যখন তুমি ফটোগ্রাফি বা ফটোগ্রাফার হিসেবে নিজেকে আর কি মানে ভাবার চেষ্টা করো অলসো ইউ নো টু বিকাম আ প্রফেশনাল ইন এনি ফিল্ড देयर इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रेनिंग 
तो व्हाट वाज योर प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रेनिंग टू बिकम अ डॉक्यूमेंटरी फोटोग्राफर व्हिच इज वेरी डिफरेंट एंड तुम्हारे जो काज गुलो आमी देखेछि बा तुम्हार वेबसाइट हो जेटा देखेछि वन ऑफ द की थीम ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ योर वर्क एज अ डॉक्यूमेंटरी फोटोग्राफर व्हाट आई कुड फाइंड इज सॉलिट्यूड Correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is the canvas is 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 like you know very minimal, but there is a lot of depth in that minimalism. So, a chinta ta ki baat. I'm glad that you find that. Okay. So uh, basically, photography journey was something that I amar shuru hoye chilo probably second year of my college while back was in Siliguri. So uh, there was a time like uh, you know like Kanchenjunga Stadium. So there was a football match was going on, and me and my friends was there to watch the football match. Then uh, you know. Uh, फुटबल मैच टा शेष हार पर ही ठीक उ स्टार्टेड यू नो लुकिंग फॉर अ प्लेस वेयर वी कैन बाय सम फूड सो व्हाइल सर्चिंग फॉर दैट थिंग आई सॉ अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल ट्री ओवर देयर व्हिच इज एक्चुअली यू नो कंप्लीटली एचोएट विद द वर्ल्ड लाइक अ वेरी ओल्ड वर्ल्ड सो आई क्लिक दैट फोटोग्राफ विद माय यू नो सिंपल मोबाइल फोन लाइक एट दैट टाइम आई प्रोबब्ली यूजिंग लाइक समथिंग लाइक 7 टू 8000 रुपीस मोबाइल फोन आई क्लिक दैट फोटोग्राफ एंड um coming back to home i started watching that photograph very closely and it gave me a feeling like it is beautiful and from deep inside like a stinker and trust me at the time i don't have any idea like how to do the post processing but i did like i did it it very stupidly even sometimes if i look back to the photograph i feel like oh my god how horrible i was <laughs> but uh, luckily i think um, there was always a courage like that helped me to push like you know there was a competition going on in uh, all over north bengal and sikkim the entire in north bengal and sikkim so i participated in that competition okay and uh, i was pretty much sure like i am not going to win but who cares at the time uh, being in, in the competition is also meant something right yeah. but uh, Luckily, when the result came out, I, I selected as the first in all over North Bengal and all over Sikkim. So I felt like that I took only one picture and that got selected in the first position in all over North Bengal and Sikkim. So why not I give it a try? Why not? Thanks. So uh, back then, uh, you know, purchasing a DSLR was a very big thing because when I asked my father, like Baba, I need a DSLR. Baba said, Do you want to make a studio and you want to take a passport size photo? You know, like how that time feel like you know, holding a big camera we used to see in the studios only. Not in people's right. hands randomly. So yeah. Then after a lot of like this and that, so I got that uh, DSLR for my father, and he's really you know really very happy right now that that day he gave me that. So after that, I started studying in uh, Spectrum School of Photography in Siliguri. I did my diploma from there, and. Um, Like after spending two or three years in casually in wandering in all the photography journal, like in Wild Street, Portrait, all the figures, then I started, you know, then I then I come come to Kolkata, like for my further study. Then I joined. Uh, uh, there was a competition going on, like from Fine Arts Academy of Saint Javier's, and I'm very proud to say that I win that competition not only that year but. for for do bocho in all over kolkata Fantastic. so while ha uh, while doing that i get to know a lot of many photographers see there is a time like you know when i i used to just click photographs randomly rather than studying it you know the photographer's journey like then i get to know the people's name called roger valen and the other very keynote photographers from india and while studying them i used to feel like that photography is not about what we see from camera it should be for me at least it should be like what i'm feeling am i capable of making that thing portraying in a canvas if it is happening then only i can you know make the uh, gap between a photographer and an artist then gradually i you know after like two or three years in spending in normal photography then i started making portfolios and which gradually won the mtv nascafe award the solitude you just say uh, it was really beautiful because at that time mtv really pushed me mtv you know that time mtv really portrayed me from all over all their websites and they made me their all of fame and then you know like that you know the company called adobe the right. photoshop company yes, yeah yes, so yes. adobe have a different uh, journal as well that is called behance okay so what behance do is like behance provide artist a medal called bihans coin and at that time it probably given into 130 countries i don't know like what is the scenario right now but yes that time i was one of the youngest indian to hold that thing you know at that time throughout this photography project so yeah that really helped me to understand no i'm pursuing the right path and 
it feels good it's like just writing a diary you know when you are having a very really hazard day and you are writing the diary at the end of the night you feel calm and when you are feeling something deep chaos inside of you and you are making into the portrait so definitely that helped me you know calm as well yeah yeah <laughs> No, well done, and uh, you know they say that the best photographer photographs come out uh, when you click it or see it through your mind's eye. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> so, uh, no, well done. Uh, what I wanted to ask you, Jay, uh, my canvas talk. Yeah. Yeah. शुरू करार inspiration क्या नो एलो की भावे एलो क्या बना ये रोहम तो आरु अनेक टॉक शोज आजकल खूब माने पॉपुलर होते हैं जब आधा पॉपुलर यू नो प्लेटफॉर्म्स सो व्हाई सडनली माय कैनवस टॉक प्रथम तो जिता बोलर जी धुरुन जो तो गुला पॉपुलर जी टॉक शोज गुला आते हैं अब हम उन्हें तारा आम के खूब इंस्पायर कर ची बिकॉज मने they are very gracious enough to invite me you know on their talk shows like not only one twice and you know not only in west bengal but also in tamil nadu coimbatore like those are places and uh, after doing all that like you know even you know invited by the iit and all that i come to understand like that prothome jeta mone holo je kolkata theke ekdom brown and bottom state this talk show ekono apni emon ekta nei jeta all over india te ba all over world day chorate moto power rakhe ba capability rakhe and then i noticed another key point is like as the you know many talk shows are coming up and the many you know big people are also investing on that places so the number of speaker is getting so huge when they are not very specific like okay this is very successful person and they are defining success and struggle in a very different way they just need a story where they can portray struggle Mm. Right, but rather than I try to focus, or we try to focus, in some genre of people where you know very co- common people their kach tadir kache chhua ta into difficult way jaray. Mm. So in generally, jokon amra as a common people isabe, pochu successful manusle jokon story shoni, we get to know like je tarah hoy to ba kuch shoh je shayi jinish kulo ke kore ule je. Kintu tadir ki jodi ekta freedom of speech to toh jaray. Like okay, you don't have to care about like kotho uh, ta view asse kare. You don't have to care about anything. But you have to do is like you just need to feel like that you are talking to your fans and you are talking to your brothers and sisters. so in mm-hmm. keeping that factor in mind if you have like see we all experience something in our life right so say experience lo ki jodi amra kono bhabe jodi manusher samne portray korte pari ebong tate jodi panchta manusher bhalo hoy tale why not jodi uh, eventually jara alada mane baki jara talk shows ache ba uh, all the different people who are doing it i i truly believe in they are saving like five people's life as well so that is great and we are also adding up to the queue so paanch jagate jodi choy hoye jay so that is all together a social hub we all are here to serve right so yeah beautifully it's driven and i always you know state like when you know people ask me like what inspires you to create my canvas talk i truly believe our you know uh, previous people like who did another talk shows like big ones like you know all over the nation and all over the country i mean i'm sorry all over the world so definitely they inspired me a lot i i i follow them because while i was you know on their stage i even knew like that i am going to start my canvas talk right right so yeah that that really helped me that really helped me to understand like how talk shows goes and how you know how to build things and another part is like my canvas talk really gave me the opportunity or gave us the opportunity to build a network you know which is pretty much big like in every field Like if you are social activist, if you are Tollywood star, if you are like an educationist, it, it doesn't matter in which domain you are from. We are always there. Okay. And the best part is like we are gradually moving, you know, different corners of India, and we are also planning to make like within two years we are we will be in three different or four different countries. So yeah, sure, fantastic. No, well done. And I I'm sure like you know this whole. passage and the journey of entrepreneurship uh, there have been a lot of challenges uh, like yeah. all entrepreneurs how did you manage to you know cope with those challenges i'm sure they like most entrepreneurs and i have been uh, uh, lived the life three times before myself so i do understand jokhon tumi shuru karo you are a no name brand it is very different correct then in the phase of proving yourself it becomes like slowly probably easier i wouldn't say absolutely easy but there are days where you feel on top of the world <laughs> and there are days where you feel really low uh so how do you handle you know the success and the failure 
I think um, see the problem of you know uh, difficulties is still there. I mean, still here. We it doesn't matter. Like in in our entrepreneurship journey, I feel you know we generally come up with new problem with you know new <laughs> data, each and every day. Even the problems that we never imagined, like even it is if it is possible or not. I think the most fundamental thing that really helps me is like. The, the, there is a very you know famous quote you know you remember like it says like don't forget why you started mm-hmm. that really helped us i mean whenever we struggle and see the struggle is real i mean when people think like that you know if someone asked me you know you are right now someone so i don't think that struggle is a very big deal for you i'm say it's very stupid it really feels deep even it sucks so much that you know <laughs> it, it it sometimes take you to the depression as well but the positive part is that why you started that courage the dream that you know you have seen when you have nothing nobody knew you even google doesn't give a anything about your name <laughs> so very at that moment when you planned something it it came genuinely towards from your heart yeah. so when uh, and, and and see we have taken some very tough decision while you know coming to this field like we uh, stopped you know doing our studies and we stopped you know our planning for europe for my mfa and all that stuff and gradually uh, all the things suddenly you know personal relationships and all that things suddenly stopped because i get into so much into my work so yes i think the main thing that help is like again the people with whom i work because they are really very supportive and uh, most of the time we are running we were running out of money so at that time you know if someone who is your friend and who is also working for you i i will say like working with you to build or to reach that you know goal together so at that time i think the people who are surrounded by you or you know your inner surroundings is the people who at the end of the day going to define what is your mental state Really? If you are, it's it's completely fine. If any you know future entrepreneur or any people who are watching is is like feeling depressed currently, I will say it is completely fine. As <laughs> like that we are having a you know fever, a kashi or anything. It as like this a struggle is like that. If you, if we can work hard and शुरू उटा ते के पीछों ने भागले होए ना उटा के कोण ना कोण होए फेस करता है. Even when there are nothing you know pillars to face it, but still face it. जोर कल उन्हें धक्का खाओ कोण आश्चर्य नहीं. And and the most important and part is like if i am not comfortable with failure then being an entrepreneur is very difficult because entrepreneurship is all about for me at least is like you know experimenting with business idea so while doing experiments if i take it from a scientist perspective so it's okay we can fail as many times as i want right so that really helped me that it's okay you can fail chill <laughs> you are not going to die very well said and i think this is the spirit which uh, Uh, which makes an entrepreneurial journey very satisfying kana jokhon tumi jokhon tumi shuru karo you only start uh, your biggest capital what i believe you know talking from my experience is is the hope खुबर जरा Entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, watching this show uh, will take them as golden nuggets. Uh, very uh, honoured. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rahul, what I wanted to ask you is, with this COVID nineteen, you know, yeah. do you think the world will change after this? Uh, if I take it, you know, two substance for saying this. Suppose this COVID nineteen is definitely changing the world in positive way as well. Like the ozone layer is, you know, reforming. The ice are again, you know, forming. So the world is breathing. And I truly believe that we are human race. We have been through these critical stages before. Like if we can consider like the Black Plague. After that, what came is Renaissance, right? so if i can consider like this covid 19 situation which is definitely very hard for each and every people right in start it doesn't matter virus doesn't check who is ceo or who is big actor actress it just come so i personally believe if 
anything you know suppose we are struggling and we are after facing this there will be a lot of changes like people will maintain social distance and i'm pretty much fear of one thing that people shouldn't stop forgetting like how to how right you know that is more <laughs> difficult thing to make but uh, i believe that we humans being can evolve ourselves very easily so uh, if i talk about like social factors i think people will definitely find their way to show love right because that is one of the main factor your smile can change a people's life and coming back to or if i talk about business i think there are there will be a lot of opportunities for the entrepreneurs as well because people will start getting more about the consciousness about what is called real needs because most of the time people i have you not know, seen people that driven by the wrong information they get the wrong idea of entrepreneurship they get the wrong idea of startup so they will casually uh, just move on because of their wrong information but right now people are you know learning how to find the right information from the right news channel from the right people and this all will help them to build or gather the service while before you know doing their journey and see i think um we all have seen right that most of the works can be done from home <laughs> right so keeping that factors on mind people will gradually become more conscious about online internet and you know other internet based platform so i think the internet based platform which are planning to grow their business in internet and definitely will get some opportunities in the future obviously great no, very well said um, and i i really really uh, subscribe to your thinking that uh, <laughs> that's you, how it uh, should happen um, any advice for aspiring young entrepreneurs definitely um, first is like If you are feeling fear about starting, please be comfortable with that. Everyone feels it. Trust me, everyone feels it. Even um, like when I started, I I was even if I talk about my canvas talk when I started, uh, we started. We feel like that. Are you sure people will subscribe to us? Because we are not like making some fun memes or you know making some funny funny things on the internet that is running on. So we were not pretty much sure about that, but still it's going on. and thousands of people have subscribed us and uh if any day like you know you are feeling like this idea can be triggered and uh, people around you is like you know not comfortable with that idea please you know leave those people like you don't have to listen to them trust me they will follow you right now they might you know uh you know not encourage you or like you know might feel you like you know with you, with their negative thoughts so please feel comfortable with that because at the end of the day being an entrepreneur is like being a scientist with a business all you have to do is like you know experiment and yeah things will come and while starting please don't think about so much about money and so much about fame definitely money is a very big factor you it should be always there with you your pride is a very different factor it should be always with you as well but don't push themselves you know before you like you know that is the only reason that you come to the entrepreneurship because you are not getting job that is not how it should be if you are not getting job then how could you are going to handle like thousands of people in your company so keeping that factor i will say if if anything can be called passion so i will say that entrepreneurship is also a part of passion and passion doesn't grow like in a one day it it have negative things it have positive things as well so if you are comfortable with the negative things because it will take so much from inside so i am sure the positive things the glory will be waiting for you so yeah 100% very well said and well i personally am very inspired with this uh, conversations we've had uh, rahul thank you so much for being on leisurely bathe and my pleasure uh, such an honor and uh, i wish you all the very best for your future for and i'm uh, waiting for your book to come <laughs> and person uh, uh, well but i've got the uh, two books which have been published the last one got published in uh, I, i know i know i have seen <laughs> the third one uh, was uh, was due to come out on in um, august but obviously it will love to know that that i have my own collection of 1500 plus books oh fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> so i'll be really waiting for an autograph copy from you <laughs> oh Oh man, uh, that's so humbling, and uh, you know, I mean, any day, I mean, I look Thank forward you. to the next opportunity of uh, you know meeting with you, uh, having a chat over a bhaarir chai, 
পাড়ার দোকানে বসে আড্ডা মারতে পারছি